All right, this is Jeff at Quadricopter, and we're just going to demonstrate how to install the, this is the free fly, the full cage for the M10. So just opening up the box, you have the instructions. Um, underneath the box, you have a little bag of goodies. So what you want to notice about this is there's actually two different size screws. You have the longer bolts, these are longer than these ones. You want to make sure the shorter ones go on this size, side when you mount the knuckle, and this goes on this side when you also mount that knuckle. So for tools, I have a hex wrench, a 2.5, a 2.0, and a just a snips, because we need to um, snip some um, ties. So that's the first thing we're going to do. We're just going to get rid of this tie. And also there's one underneath here that we're gonna get rid of. And there is also one on the side that we'll get rid of. Now what you wanna do is you want to carefully unplug the wire and we are gonna run that whole thing out of the tilt. So now the wire is um, all done. Let's just get rid of this plate for a second. Okay, and we are gonna be reusing this bottom portion. So first of all, let's just take this whole thing off. So we got the 2.5. Just loosen that up. Loosen that up. And the whole thing just slide right off like that. All right, and what we can do is we can actually just get rid of these tubes, put those away, save those for later. Okay, and also just remember this is the front, this is the back. The little puck's on the back, so that's pretty obvious. Um, let's do some cleaning up. Okay, so now we'll take our two millimeter wrench and we are going to disassemble this portion. There's four screws. Okay, so we'll just put this whole assembly off to the side. All right, so now, we're gonna pull out, these are the new adjustable sliders that will go on this side. And once again, we are gonna reach for the bag that has the smaller length bolts. There'll be four of those. And also, The free fly gang has given us some Loctite. So we're just gonna add a little bit of Loctite when we assemble those back on. Oops, so I need the 2.5 millimeter wrench for this. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of Loctite in there and get one started up. Grab the second one. Okay. So that is all complete. Now it is time for this one. Once again, we're gonna be using these four bolts that are a little bit longer.
All right, and one other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a mark so I know what side is forward. Um, I replaced this one originally, and I was having some um, just some weird interactions. Um, I found out that if you mount this without it being um, correctly on the shaft as the old one, so for instance, if I mounted that 90 degrees, that's where I was having all my um, craziness. So we'll just make sure that we put that back on as this one sits. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a little mark in there so I can reference that. So now, once again, take our two millimeter. All right, so I didn't move the shaft. I'm actually just gonna make another mark right there. This is just a Sharpie. So yeah, so that's gonna be the forward. So now I'm also going to, I'm just gonna make a little mark right there. So now we're going to start that with a little bit of Loctite. Once again, making sure that shaft is still in the original position. Okay, we'll start with the second bolt. All right, so here we are. This is still original um, forward from the old one. This is, this one doesn't matter. This is just on a, just a bearing, so it doesn't really care. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the four new side tubes, which are longer, and we're just going to start those. All right there. And we're just gonna snug that up with a 2.5. And what I like to do with that is, as the clamp is open, it's free to move, and then I start feeling tension about halfway, and so then when I fasten it, it is secure. Um, that for both sides. Um, let's do that for this side. And once again, it's about halfway when it starts getting tension and then the full press to lock it into place. Okay, from there on, it's pretty much just putting this back on. Okay, and we'll just fasten that. And then also, this is the top plate, which will be where the camera is gonna be anchored to the top. Um, yeah, the whole goal of this is to have a solid anchor position on the bottom of the camera and the top, so you can run higher gains. Um, it works super slick. Okay. And I'm just gonna tighten these up just a, maybe a half a turn so once again, I start feeling resistance about halfway through, and then the rest locks it in. All right, and the final job is to, you're gonna retrace or rethread this back through the hole Make sure it's nice and straight. You don't want this wound as it comes through this opening. And once again, we're gonna come down. It is going to be plugged back into the bottom puck there. My fingernails aren't very long, so I'm just gonna use this wrench to fasten it. 
And then the last step is going to be taking these zip ties and fastening the cable back down. So one cable I use to mount or fasten it to this side tube. The other one, I'll secure it to the bottom rail. And the smaller the zip tie goes around the puck housing to fasten that so any strain on this cable won't unplug that. Um, all right, so that is pretty much ready to go. Um, these tubes work great for um, the Red Epic. Um, they're definitely tall enough. Um, I have um, different tubes that are different dimensions for different cameras. A lot of times with these tall tubes, they might interfere with the top portion. Um, so for instance, when I put my Canon 5D Mark III, I might use these side rails that I have pre-cut that are only this long, so I'm not having any sort of interference. But as you get larger cameras, the red, obviously they come down quite a bit further and you get that leeway as far as um, you're gonna have no interference in the roll. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or you need those tubes, give us a call. Um, we got those and we can cut them at any length. Um, anyway, so this is the final piece. So once again, we would mount our camera. Typically there's a quarter 20 in the base plate. That goes on the bottom. This typically goes into the hot shoe of the camera. Um, slide that in, fasten it down. And once again, that locks right into there. Um, also with the red, they have quarter 20 tapping holes that you can also use for that to um, anchor it down. Um, anyway, this is Jeff at Quadrocopter and we'll be talking soon. Ah! <laughs>